time did you call this, John? It's 6 a.m. Where have you been? Been out with the lads. I told you to out with the lads. Did you not get my message? I text you early saying not to wait up. Be all too late. No, I didn't get any message. Let me see your phone. Let me see the message. What is this? Stop it, will you? It's not my fault that you didn't get the message. I'm drunk and I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Well, that's funny that because last night when you were asleep, I am. Um, I, I went through your phone and I found the message from Joanne about your date tonight. I'm not putting up with this shit. I'm going to bed. You're, you're deluded. And it, she's a work colleague and she wasn't out. It, was, it wasn't a date, it was just out. I'm going to give you the opportunity now to tell me the truth, right? And I'm only going to give it you once. You either tell me the truth or I'm gone. What the hell are you doing going through my phone anyway? Don't you trust me? No, I don't trust you, John. You haven't been near me in weeks. It's written all over your face. How could you do this to me? You've got makeup all over your shirt and you stink of a cheap perfume. It was uh, busy in the pub. Someone must have pushed past me. You're a liar, John! After everything we have been through, I supported you for the past 12 months while you were looking for work and you, you were paying me like this. I swear on my life, Sarah. I haven't done anything. You've got to believe me. Now it looks you got the wrong end of the stick. I gave you the opportunity to tell me the truth and you lied. Point blank lied to my face. Just give me back my phone. Please, Sarah, just let me explain. You're a liar and a cheat. And I don't need someone like you in my life. So all of this, me and you, we're done. <laughs> 